Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. So, now we begin the next stage of our expansion. Specifically, we want to connect Reno to Palm Bay and start having passenger service. We've already got a main line in place, however, I feel we've uh, got a slight problem with our main line. Uh, there's really three points of concern. The first point is that uh, we're going to have to modify our station here. Quite a bit, in fact, if we're going to uh, start uh, having passenger service here, which is going to affect this stretch here. Uh, the next point of concern is how we're going to link everything up here. This is becoming pretty uh, busy and a little bit messy. The third point of concern is this bit of the line right here. Um, my concern is that as we have more traffic flowing, we're going to have to probably get away from the one-way switch system here. Or the one-way uh, signaling, I mean. Uh, while it's nice having a dedicated uh, route, it doesn't really work too well when you have uh, trains having to cross each other uh, relatively frequently to get over. Right now, this works. The question is, will it continue to work? Uh, in Reno, we've got a bit of a concern that we want to look at right away. Where do we place the station and what kind of a station do we want to place? If we place the platform here, uh, it doesn't, the through, the, uh, a pass through isn't going to work very well there. If we place it here, it's too far away from everything. I mean, it's good for servicing the industry because we got a bunch of commercial here and we got industrial buildings here, but the residential is all on this side and that's not good for passenger. Fortunately, this is one of the few instances, because generally I try to avoid doing a terminus, but in this case, a terminus makes a lot of sense. If we place a terminus in here, and we, we can place it pretty much right at the center of the city, uh, it will cover pretty much everything. And since all the traffic needs to go this way and out anyways, it works. Boom. Reno now has a train station, and from this train station, we can figure out where we want to go. Uh, this road, yeah, this road needs to go. It's not uh, working in our favor. Bye bye road. Now we got to look at our main line. Currently, our main line just terminates right here. We need to shift everything over. So how do we want to do that? Hmm. I'd say we want to curve a little bit more, bring it in nice and close. In fact, we'll probably have to uh, loop this. Probably want to delete a section of this. Well, that's a pretty long section. Well, it's probably better if we work from this end over. Unfortunately, just about everything I can think of, we're going to at least temporarily destruct the line. Um, if we break it here and go straight, we can just quickly add everything back in and be fine. So I think that's what we're going to do. Beautiful. Everything is connected up very nicely. Uh, this is a bit of a messy connection here, but it will work for now. So we're going to need to place some signals. Uh, we're going to place a signal there. We're going to want to place a signal in here somewhere. We'll place it there. Likewise, we're going to need to place a signal here. Uh, we'll place it there. All right, there we go. Nicely done. If I say so myself, that is. And so now we can uh, get back to connecting everything back up. Reno Machines Factory, new industry. Well, where's the... Well, would you look at that? That wasn't there a moment ago. Hmm. And that's a big game changer because... Uh, and it, it was founded at the optimal time here to think about this. Uh, because we're placing this main line here, we can take planks from the sawmill and supply the tools factory there. And that's even closer for the iron ore in Lexington. Yes, this works out great. Could have been built in a better place. The only problem is, how are we going to connect it up to the main line? Hmm. The main line. Exactly what we're currently working on. We could smooth this out a little bit more, uh, make it a little bit sharper in there. 
and then expand this out if we wanted to. Uh, but for now, this is fine. Uh, we will have to add a crossover here, though, and that's going to be a little bit interesting here. So we'll put it right there like so. That should be even, so like that. And, oh, that should be a one way for the current operation. Switch that over. All right. And just like that, they're linked up. But we got to alter the station here because this needs work. Fortunately, we timed it well. So what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to have to probably redo the platforms. Um, I'd rather have the passenger closer and the freight on the other side just for aesthetics and realism. So unfortunately, that means we're pretty much going to have to destroy everything about the station. And uh, when we go to modify it, that also means we're going to have to modify certain things here. So we might as well for now, with the game paused, we're going to tear out that because it's going to need to go anyways for the modifications that are done. One thing we could do is just completely build a new station there, but I'd rather configure it manually. So, unfortunately, everything we're going to tear out there. We're going to tear out this track here as well. And we're going to put in a platform. So, we need passenger buildings. We're going to go straight for the medium. Can we fit a large? No, we cannot fit the large. Not surprising. Um, but we can shift things over and expand it in the future. So... I think for our passenger service, based off of uh, just where things are, how things are developing and stuff, uh, we're gonna just wanna keep it center here. Or as center as possible, really. So we'll just place it there. We now need a cargo building as well, since we tore out our old one. We're gonna get the medium cargo building here. And since industry is to the left and right there. We'll place it all the way down here. Lovely. And now we need to add some more tracks. So um, we'll add an additional passenger line here, which means we're going to need another platform. I'm future proofing this just so I don't have to upgrade it right away when we connect another line up. Uh, that won't be fun. So we're going to immediately have free passenger service lines. Um, we need to add another track here. Add that in. And we'll also add another track here so that we have our two uh, lines. So therefore, we don't have to update this again for a little while. How lovely. Unfortunately, we got a lot of work to do. Um, we want that out of the area. So let's just uh, build some nice 120 stretch here. A nice 120 stretch. Yes. Lovely. Uh, from there, we're going to get that. 45 is fine. Tie in another switch right off of it. Place a switch there like that. Lovely. Um, I think now we're going to want to hit pause here because I have a feeling a train's coming and we don't have it connected up. Uh, we'll want to do a little bit straighter out here. Huh, it's not... not uh, there's no snap to it. There we go. There's the snap I was looking for. Okay, so we want to locate a point. That's fine. And let's get that to 150. Yep, that's good. Uh-oh. 
It's not going to be... Oh, I went past the point. That's why. Place that. Place that. Beautiful. Okay. Got to draw a new 120 uh, line here. We may have to adjust this section. And that's fine. Um, because... We want to probably get a little bit more space here, so we can have it kind of do an S-curve. So let's uh, get rid of all the old here. Imagine uh, Palm Bay is going to be happy to have more space now. Since they were kind of building into us there. I don't want to just uh, eyeball it here. And so if we build a straight section running along here, and link in nicely. But as I said, unfortunately, we got to tear out this. But we get a lot more distance from the main line in here, which is going to allow us to do more stuff in the future. And we're probably going to have to up, uh, do some upgrades here at this station. In fact, actually, um, we should probably move the station. Build a new station that better fits our needs. Uh, this was not originally part of the plan. If we place that there like so, what we can do is we can have the tracks come all the way here like so, which means we can also uh, change things up here. So for example, this line is no longer needed. And that's going to remove some strain from the main line. We could have had this be mainline operation, but um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to do that. Okay, so let's just hit play here. Um, get all of that. Yeah, I'm sure the railroad, uh, the uh, line warnings are going crazy right now. All right, there we go. Um, now we just got to connect up again or the wood to get back. OK, so there we are. Uh, I tweaked a little bit the uh, area to Reno. Uh, better reflects uh, the main line coming this way and uh, not having a problem with Reno's uh, tool fa new machine factory. Sorry, machines factory. So we're going to have to start uh, ramping up production here. but. Uh, one of the things we're going to want to do is we're going to want to relocate our uh, train depot to a better location to service all of the trains here because now we got traffic going that way. So we'll probably want to find somewhere here to do that. Um, but yeah, it looks like everything is working just nicely. We'll add a general. And let's get uh, four st cars to start there. That'll be two million, sure. Train number seven, excellent. We're gonna give it a new line. Gonna get passengers from Reno to Palm Bay. And it's automatically good to go. Okay, so train number seven is departing the station. It's got 44 out of 56 people on board. Hmm, we might need to uh, expand that already. 